to talk about exercise and your brain. Your brain. I always knew there was a connection. There's something about working out. It doesn't only make you stronger. It makes you stronger in your brain, right? It's smarter. Makes you smarter. And I feel like we kind of all know that. Yeah. Here's the really cool part. There's new research coming and being worked on right now that shows exercise first, then train your brain, and you get better results. Okay. So you will learn more. You will ret retain more information. It, it's amazing. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about, we sit mostly during the day. So we'll sit. Yeah. All day long. All day long. And once we're sitting, our blood flow decreases a little bit, our circulation decreases, so the blood to our brain decreases. Right. Now, when we exercise, we release this chemical. It's called brain-derived natrotropic factor. Okay. okay. I expect you all to remember that. <laughs> there will be a quiz. <laughs> Think about this as fertilizer. You know, we're all planting right now. We've got that kind of miracle grow. Yeah. It's miracle grow for your brain. Okay. So, if you exercise first, then say you do a brain activity, reading, writing, music, Sudoku, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you like to do, you have this factor, you will learn more, you will learn faster, you will be more creative, Wow! you will absorb the information better. So I think that's incredibly exciting. Well, I, I feel it though. Yes. When I work out early in the mornings, I am right. firing on all cylinders. Right. As soon as I get off that treadmill or get out of that gym, I feel like I can do a lot more. And then You're by 3 o'clock, I'm right. a zombie, right? Right. Because I haven't gotten that blood flow going since early in the morning. So got I, it. I get it. And that's one of the recommendations, is first thing in the morning is the best time to work out for your brain. Yeah, because you can swing it. you have more decisions and things to make right after that workout usually. <laughs> yes. So let's fast forward. It's 3 yeah. o'clock. What do we do? We're at home, we're at the office, we've been sitting, our circulation is down. Yeah. I'm going to give you a quick little circuit that will help get the blood up to your brain and help get that factor happening again so that you will be ready to go. Okay. Okay? Make, make me smart. Okay. What First do I do? thing, very simple. Say you were sitting at your desk, squats. Okay. So we want to do at least 20 squats. Right. So that we actually get the blood pumping through our legs. Okay, get your coworkers to do it too so they're not all just it. making fun of you. You got it. <laughs> now, that's good. Now, one okay. of the studies showed they used leg press as the exercise. So that's why squats make sense. It's a big muscle, so we're moving a big muscle. Major okay. calorie burn. So, next thing is, you could get down onto the floor. You don't necessarily have to have a mat. Okay. But we can start with a simple plank. Now, plank again, I'm using my upper body muscles a lot. It's yeah. getting blood to my head. Even better, downward dog. Mm. So now you can see even more blood going towards my head again. Watch the angle at which you do this if you are in the workplace. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Maybe watch where your desk. bum is. <laughs> okay, then we can add some mountain climbers. Woohoo, that's okay. hardcore. And that's Those more cardio. Yeah, Okay, and for sure. That gets our blood pumping. And then finally, handstand kick-ups. Okay. Handstands in the fitness world are like squats, okay? Really? We use them a lot and we just use the kick-ups. And you don't have to be able to do a full handstand. It doesn't matter. Okay. But you can try them or you can try them against a wall. Do them on a wall. That's yep. how I would do it. Okay, so but a she kick doesn't up. need a wall. She has Tracy Moore. <laughs> go ahead. There we go. <laughs> we got you. So you so can what see. What is that doing? I mean, it's bringing a lot of blood to yes. your head, and is that what you want? You want the circulation you up there. You want the circulation. You want the blood to your head. You want more blood flow. Yeah. The other easy way to do it is if you can get out for a walk. Yes. The research shows that a walk works great too. Or take a meeting out. Do a walking meeting as opposed to a sitting meeting. That's a great idea. All these things will help. You'll yeah. be smarter. You'll learn faster. You'll be more creative. So why wouldn't you do it? Plus, it's good for all the other reasons. For sure. And you'll be nicer, I find. I think Don't you'll you be think nicer. Don't you think it makes you a yeah. nicer person? You're not crouching. I think a little bit, for sure. Yeah. Well, a bunch of us at CityLine are doing something called 100 Active Days, OK? So it's a challenge. We want you to join us. And so many of you are already. You are. Yes. I've been yes. seeing your yes. tweets. They're Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. So do something active 
every day for 100 days. Let us know about it. And when I say active, I mean you can just be walking over to the bar, the, the fridge sure. of wine. Sure. sure. Whatever. That was an action. Why not? Why Tweet not? it. Give us a picture. Send, uh, post the photos on Facebook. Send us emails to submissions at cityline.ca. You tweet yours, right? I do. Yes, I Very do. good. Show us how you're staying active. Include the Twitter hashtag 100 active days and uh, and check out all of our Instagram accounts. Go to CityLine CA. Go to at Tracy CityLine. You're going to see all of my posts as well. Uh, and just get out there and have some fun. The weather's awesome, so why not?